Let's get started. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff. Come for the MacBook tips and stay for the fake magic because all I did was run a shortcut I created using the shortcuts app on the Mac. Quick refresher. These shortcuts are simply a series of actions that can be activated with a single button. If you open the application, you can see your shortcuts in the All Shortcuts tab here, and you can add pre-built ones directly from the gallery. Now, there are actually four different ways you can activate these shortcut workflows on your Mac. First and the easiest, from the menu bar. If you don't see the shortcuts icon by default, you actually have to go into any shortcut, uh, go to preferences here, pin in menu bar, the shortcuts icon should appear and you can run this specific shortcut from the menu bar. The second way is to bring up Spotlight and type in the name of the shortcut and press enter. The third way is through quick actions, but it only makes sense for a certain type of shortcut. For example, I click into the make GIF, GIF? GIF shortcut, and under preferences, I can check use as quick action and finder. Now, if I highlight two photos within finder, right click quick actions, the shortcut shows up here because I can create a GIF, GIF from these two, from two images, right? But it probably doesn't make sense to have the empty downloads folder as a quick action, even though it technically works. The fourth method is only for paid Alfred users. You just need to install a workflow from their GitHub page to quickly access shortcuts from within the Alfred command bar. I'm gonna be doing this today, but if you're a non-Alfred user, go with one of the first three methods. Now let's go into shortcut preferences. And under the sidebar tab, I only have the quick actions and menu bar options selected. This allows me to drag a shortcut into the menu bar folder. And now the shortcut will show up in the menu bar. Same logic for quick actions. Going back to preferences under the advanced tab, make sure to allow running scripts because I'll be sharing a few shortcuts today that require this to be on. Speaking of sharing selflessly and being an absolute angel, um, you can download all these shortcuts I go over today by clicking the link in the description. I actually found a lot of these online, so I'll also link to the original articles. The first shortcut, hide desktop clutter. Although I didn't write the script, I know how powerful this is because if you search online, the two other ways to achieve this is to either download an app like OneSwitch, which is paid, or uh, enter commands into the Mac terminal. Having a shortcut for this makes life so much easier. By the way, in case it wasn't obvious, you just need to run the shortcut again to show your desktop. Uh, you can also customize the icon and icon color by clicking here and change the name to something more intuitive to type in Spotlight. The second shortcut I use every day is this one called Focus, which I did create from scratch. Click into it, you can see this toggles on my work focus mode, sets the volume to 30% because that's the level I like Spotify to play at when I'm working screen brightness to 100%, and most importantly, hide all apps except for Google Chrome, Notion, and Spotify. Paired with the shortcut is the chill shortcut. This turns the work focus mode off, sets the volume at 75% to watch YouTube videos, screen brightness at 85%, and opens back up all my messaging apps. As you probably already guessed, the orange fields are variables you can change to whatever you want. Uh, for me, work mainly happens in Chrome and Notion, but for you, this could be Obsidian, Evernote, Microsoft Office. I found this next shortcut online and it's super practical. It's called Network Tool by default, and if you run it, you can quickly access information about your Wi-Fi, internet speed, your IP address, without using another app or tool. For example, I wanna do a speed test. It uses fast.com by default. And I see my internet speed without opening the browser. Or let's say I wanna know my IP address, right? Activate this again, show information about Wi-Fi, and boom, there you go. This next shortcut is a must have for marketers and content creators. It's called count characters. So whether you're writing a post or planning a YouTube video, you can just uh, copy command C, a potential title, run the shortcut, and it reads your clipboard and immediately returns the number of characters. Another cool one I found online is called Search On. After running it, uh, you can input a keyword or topic, Pixel 7 Pro, press Command Enter, and now you can select from a list of platforms to 
search on. This is mainly useful if for some reason you still use Spotlight instead of something like Alfred or Raycast. For example, for Alfred, you can create your own custom web searches like this, right? I have an entire uh, tutorial for this free tool, so feel free to check that out afterwards. I don't use this next shortcut very much because I am a clean freak and I would never actually have a cluttered folder. But if you are someone who downloads a bunch of stuff and always forgets to clean it up, you can just run the empty downloads folder shortcut. This will show you everything you want to delete and you can then confirm delete. At this point, I hope I've given you enough context to think of shortcuts that might be more relevant to you specifically. For example, if you're someone who downloads to the desktop, you can right click, make a duplicate of the empty downloads folder uh, shortcut, uh, clear this out, choose your desktop folder instead, and rename this to something like uh, clear desktop. What were you thinking? All right, so let's create one together. A shortcut you can definitely use. Uh, go to gallery. We don't need to create one from scratch. Uh, choose the split screen to app shortcut, add shortcut. Skip this page for now and just simply add shortcut. Now go back to all shortcuts, click into this. And on the right hand side here, type in hide app, double click to select and move this field up so that it runs first. I wanna hide all apps first with no exceptions, then split screen with two apps I use for work. For example, Notion and Chrome. Could be something else entirely for you. Uh, rename this to something like uh, two app focus, and you can test run it by clicking the play button here. If you wanna get rid of a step, you can click close. If you wanna further customize a step, look for the show more option. For this example, I can change the default split screen ratio or have it ask me each time I run the shortcut. If you wanna share a shortcut you created, the easiest way is to click the share button, copy iCloud link, share. And now anyone who clicks into this link on a Mac can get shortcut and be prompted to open the shortcuts app on their Mac. This is how I'm sharing these shortcuts with you today through my website. If for some reason you run into an issue when importing a shortcut, I found a solution that works 99% of the time. First, make sure the shortcut app is already open, paste the iCloud link into the notes app and click into it from there. This will open up the shortcuts app directly and bypass your browser. Last power tip for paid alpha users. You can install the free calm notifications shortcut. Basically, this allows you to set a timer for do not disturb. For example, I want do not disturb to turn off automatically after 90 minutes. Let me know down in the comments if you want even more useful shortcuts to download and whether it's pronounced GIF or JIF. I'll also link my Mac productivity playlist over here. See you all next video in the meantime. Have a great one.